Hey guys, it's Alex here from alex2b.com and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a blog post that gets tons of traffic, comments, and shares. Now you don't have to be a blogger to have blogs on your website. In fact, having just a few blogs can really improve your ranking in Google and get your website listed in search, which is key to getting more organic traffic to your website. So blogging is not just to share your experience or document a DIY, it's actually for getting traffic to your site, okay? Now, before we get started, I wanted to mention the sponsor for this video, Storyblocks. Storyblocks is a subscription service that gives you unlimited access to royalty-free images, videos, audio, sound effects, digital vectors, After Effects templates, and more. It's an incredible resource for content creators, freelancers, digital marketers, influencers, and everything in between. As video gains speed and importance online, Storyblocks can help you put out high-quality content and instantly uplevel your marketing and your brand. So if you're looking for quality images for your Instagram feed, your blog, or your website, or you need help with a YouTube intro, visual effects, or sound, Storyblocks is for you. If you'd like to give Storyblocks a try, just click the link in the description box below. Okay, now let's get started on how to write a blog post that actually gets results. First, you must start with a keyword. Yes, that's right. We don't necessarily start with a topic, but rather research a keyword that we want to rank for on Google. You can do this using a free app like Ubersuggest or another app like Keywords Everywhere. I actually created an entire tutorial on how to do this, so go ahead and watch that if you need some instruction. Once we have a keyword, we need to write out our content, and there's a few ways to do this that's going to make it easy on you and make it enjoyable for your audience to read. So first we want to focus on list centric blog posts. That means titles like 10 ways to get more followers on Instagram or three methods to increase your income. Using lists gives structure to your content and makes it easy to scan through because let's be real, most people are not reading every word of your blog, but rather scrolling to find the parts that are most interesting to them. We're then going to write the blog post like an essay. To do this, you need an introduction where you introduce the topic of the blog, let the reader know what they're about to learn and segue into the content. You're then going to use your list items as the supporting arguments of your essay. This is where you should add a ton of value, pretty pictures and use proper headings. Then finally, the conclusion. Here you will wrap up your blog and ask them to comment and share. Now within this list centric essay type blog post, you're going to add in SEO. SEO is the most important element of every blog post and should never be skipped if you truly want to rank in Google and create a piece of content that pays off for you long term. To do this, take the keyword you found in step one and sprinkle it throughout your blog. Add it to the URL, the title of your blog, and in as many H1 headings as possible. If you want to learn my exact SEO strategy and all the locations you should be adding your keyword, check out my search engine optimization guide. The link to learn more is in the description box below. Once your blog is written and your SEO is complete, you'll want to add in some cross promotion to increase your chances of your visitors reading more of your content or becoming a subscriber or customer. If you have other relevant blogs, add links within the copy to encourage them to read those as well. Or if you have an opt-in that makes sense with this blog, encourage them to download it. And finally, if you have a related product, promote that shit within your blog. At this point, you should have a quality blog post that's well-written, structured, optimized for Google, and encourages your readers to take action. Now all we have to do is promote it and boost its traffic by adding it to Pinterest. Use a free app like Canva to create a pin for your blog, then add it to as many Pinterest boards as possible. If you need help with your Pinterest strategy, check out this video. Then finally, don't let it die. Continue to promote your blog on social media and to your email list regularly. If done right, your blog should rank on Google within a number of weeks and you'll have a piece of content that you're proud of and brings consistent targeted traffic to your website. If this video was helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and tap the bell to be notified the next time I post a video. That's it for today guys and I will see you next time.